Alors, la députée de Châteauguay, Saint-Constant. Monsieur le Président, les conservateurs sont vraiment passés maître dans l'art de dire une chose et de faire son contraire. Ils ont promis aux anciens combattants que leur compression budgétaire n'aura aucun impact dans les services offerts. Mais des documents internes nous indiquent qu'il y a deux ans déjà, des employés mentionnaient ne pas savoir comment ils allaient être en mesure d'offrir les mêmes services avec neuf bureaux en moins et 800 employés en moins. Pourquoi les conservateurs ont-ils ignoré ces signaux d'alarme sur les conséquences de leur compression dans les services offerts aux anciens combattants? The Honorable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Veterans Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I understand math is not necessarily the NDP's thing. And let me explain, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Our government has created 600 additional points of service across this great nation, Mr. Speaker. There are now approximately 650 points of service in communities, in neighborhoods where district office did not exist, Mr. Speaker. We are putting points of service where yeah. veterans need them the most in the communities. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, in the event veteran is unable to travel to a district office, if they're seriously injured, we will send a registered nurse or a case manager to the comfort of their home, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Honorable Member for St. John's East. Mr. Speaker, what these documents reveal is a government so obsessed with its image that it fa failed to heed warnings from inside its own department, warnings that government cuts would impact services available. Mm. Our armed forces personnel and veterans knew this, staff at Veterans Affairs knew this, conservatives knew this, yet the government has spent two years denying the truth. Will the minister now acknowledge that these cuts do in fact hurt veterans and reverse them immediately. The Honorable Parliament Secretary, the Minister of Veterans Affairs. Speaker, uh, coming, since coming to office, since 2006, our government has invested over $4 billion in additional funding, wow. Mr. That's Speaker, incredible. to help careless veterans to provide them services and the benefits that they deserve. Mr. Speaker, every single time we have brought forward initiatives to help our veterans, NDP, and the Liberals both have voted against every single measure, Mr. Shame Speaker. On. We Shame on this man. side of the House Shame will Shame. continue to stand for Canada's veterans. Here, here, here. The Honourable Member for Mississauga 